Excel autofill is one of the most widely known features. Apart from one or two common tricks, we tend to miss out some of the unknown yet easier ones. Here goes an all-in-one video for you to help you to apply autofill shortcuts in Excel. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulbim from Excel Demi, your one-stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA-related answers. Here is a data set with 10 records of employees with their names and salary details. With this, we will learn how to apply autofill shortcut in Excel. We will discuss 7 methods with the help of Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In this method, we will use keyboard as autofill shortcut. For that, let's add a formula here first to add salary and bonus. Enter. Now, let's click on H5 and press on Shift down arrow. Keep pressing down arrow as the selection goes. Now, press on Control D. And we can see that the values are autofilled and all of them have been modified according to their formula. In case you want to autofill throughout a row, let's click on B13 and press on Shift right arrow or Shift Control right arrow and click on Control R and it will get us the same value throughout the row. Here we will learn how to fill down a series using fill handle. Let's type 1 in B5 and 2 in B6. Now. Click on both of them and here we can see that there is a plus sign in the bottom right corner which is fill handle tool. Left click on the mouse and drag it till 14th row and we get the serial of 1 to 10. There is a shortcut to use fill handle as well. Here you can see there is a formula for sum. Let's double click on the bottom right corner and it's autofilled. Most of us have heard about flash fill feature in Excel, but a small portion of us put it into use. Let's try it. Let's manually add the first name and last name as full name. Let's type John Doe. Now, let's try to write Alex Noah. Okay. Now, we can see that all the names are automatically showing on the screen. These are basically suggestions. To accept the suggestion, we need to press on Enter. And we can see that the names are added. And this is for flash fill option. Now we can do it in another and easier way as well. Let's remove them and click on E6 and press Ctrl E. And we can see that all the cells are autofilled. There are a lot of modifiers and alphanumeric keys that enable a lot of complex features in Excel. Here, we will use modifier and alphanumeric keys in Excel to apply autofill. First, in B5 type 1 and in B6, 2. Now, select all of B column from your keyboard. Click on Alter H, now F, I, S. This will get us series dialog box. From here, we can manually select autofill or we can just press Shift, Tab and F keys together to select autofill using keyboard. Click on OK. Now we can see our numbers are automatically added here. Although using autofill is easy, but it's hectic using it every time. What if there is a shortcut to repeat our action? Let's try it. In the B column in cell B5, let's type 1, then in 6, 2. Let's double click on the bottom right corner to autofill the rest of the cells. Now we want to repeat the same process for IDNUNG and PABX number. And note that these numbers will change linearly according to the serial numbers here. So first we need to add the templates. ID number is 51, 52 and PABX number is 5001 and 5002. Now select 51 and 52 and press on Control y to repeat the action and we can see as the serial goes in B column 
The same goes for C column as well. Let's try it again for PABX number, control Y, and we get the same result. Easy, right? Let's say you have a list for office materials which you need to add every time. Now how about you create your own list of those materials and you can just use autofill to insert them every time you want them. Click on Alter FT and it will get you Excel options. Go to Advanced tab and scroll down to the last portion. Here on the General section, click on Edit Custom Lists. Here, under the new list, we will list the entries. Our entries are paper, comma, pen, comma, pencil, comma, stapler, sticky note, finally, scissor. Now let's add them and OK. Cancel. Now let's try typing here paper, then pen. Now let's click on both of them and use fill handle to drag it till B10 and we can see that according to our list the office materials list is also autofilled. So far we have worked around with the shortcuts that Excel gives us by default. How about I introduce you to a method where you can create a shortcut by yourself. Let's try. Go to View tab and from the Macros group, click on Macros dropdown. Here, click on Record Macro. Let's keep our macro name as Macro1 and here, let's try Control shift f Okay, let's select B5 to B14. Now press Alter H, F, I, S. That will get us series. Click on Autofill. Okay. Now go to view tab again and click on macros drop down, click on stop recording. Remember that our macro shortcut was control shift F. Now let's type the serial as 1, 2. Now click on 1, 2 and press control shift F. See, your shortcut works. Here macro recording has enabled your action and it has just repeated the action during the record to autofill your serial. Among these methods, you can choose any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.